One day you're in an island. <laughs> One day you're on an island. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, Brian. Good evening, Brian. Good evening, Brian. Good evening Brian. Uh, going to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, so funny. Today we don't have Brian and we are logging with a different computer. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone to a pure land. Uh -huh. Good evening, Brian. <laughs> Good evening, Brian. Good evening, Brian. Good evening. Brian is not here today. Today, no, Brian. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait. I can't Good see evening. Brian. My no phone. Brian today. Brian Good evening, Brian. Today. Good evening. Good evening. Wow. Well, the beach. But that's a very nice picture at the beach, Bante. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Because uh, today we are in different computer, and also Brian is not here today. Okay. Okay, then uh, we can start our session. I don't have that uh, other things that we share screen sharing things and all these uh, discourses that we use to chant i don't have any of these things today so uh, somehow uh, some of if you some of uh, already downloaded it you can follow you can join it with uh, me to chat as we usually Didn't happen here. Can you hear? Thanks, Bante. Can you mute everybody? Okay. One muted. You know something happening here is uh, our connection is not good today. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, Bante. Yes, Bante, but I can see yes, you. We can. we can hear you. Yeah. We can hear you. Yeah. Okay, yes. that's good. We can start our evening session. You all can join in with me to chant Mekta Sutta. May all be happy in the same way. May all be happy in the same way. May all be happy in the same way. Without exception, we all are to be 
visible even in my own or comfortable have to in mind. Give another This is called Rainy Dream, recalling the Hellenic truths of precious and told this vision, moving desire of the potential pleasures one can see in the world. Okay, now we can start to practice. Our comfortable seats. Keep your bodies upright. Keep your head straight forward. Take a deep and long breath and let it go slowly. Relax. Again, take a deep and long breath and let it go slowly. Be relaxed. Your mind is relaxing. Also your body. When you are calm mentally and physically, happiness is increasing. Your mind and body is very calm and quiet, peace and happy. Enjoy. Image your own picture in your mind. Move your mind head to toes. Moving your mind head to toes generate loving friendliness thoughts towards yourself. May I be well, happy and peaceful. When you are getting calm, your peace and happiness is increasing. Loving penniness thoughts, compassionate thoughts are increasing. Enjoy with this.
we can share this with the thoughts with others. As I am, my family members, friends, relatives, and neighbors, be well, happy, and peaceful. We can extend this metta thoughts. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. The country we can take as one. Expanding some boundaries, generate loving kindness thoughts towards others. continent may they be well happy and peaceful
break all the boundaries. We can focus to the universe. Can create loving kindness thoughts without boundaries. Galaxy may they be well, happy and peaceful.
my family members, friends, relatives and neighbors be well, happy and peaceful. Being in this upliftment, let us focus to practice mindfulness of breathing meditation. You pay full attention to your inhalation and exhalation. Mindfully breathing, mindfully breathe out. Happy the breathing, happy the breathe out, peace for the breathing, peace for the breathe out. When you are breathing in, you feel where air is touching. When you are breathing out, you feel where air is touching. It might be in your nostril, upper lips, or your belly, also your lungs. Select a place and keep your mind there. Watch your breath, inhalation and exhalation. Mind is becoming a gatekeeper towards your inhalation and exhalation. Breathe in, breathe out. Your breath is becoming subtler and subtler. Your concentration is increasing. Happiness is increasing. No worries, no troubles, no matters, no pains in your mind. Your mind is free from all these worries, pains and troubles. You are living in this moment. You can see you, you are aware of your whole breath circulation, inhalation and exhalation. Be aware whether it is a short breath or long breath. Sometimes we inhale a short breath, we inhale a long breath. We exhale a short breath, we exhale a long breath.
you can see starting of your breath, changes of your breath and departing of your breath. Breath is very important for your life. You are depending, dependent on your breath. Inhalation and exhalation. This life is combination of mentality and materiality. Breath is most important for this life. But breath is not me, the breath is not mine, the breath is not myself. We are living with combination of mental to materiality and the breath. things are subject to change. It's changing and changing. Which is change that is not the things that we can take as full with happiness or full with joy. It is full with unhappy and sorrow. Which is impermanent, same as full with sorrow. There is nothing to take as me, my, myself. Mindfully breathing, mindfully breathe out. You are fully aware of your breath and changes of your breath, impermanence of your breath. Take your time and practice mindfulness of breathing meditation. Pay full attention to your inhalation and exhalation. Whenever you notice the mind has lost its meditation object, Come back and start again. Mindfully breathing. Mindfully breathe out.
comme deuil, un vieux comme deuil. Il Struck be free from fear, may the grieving be free from grief, so too may all beings be saved. Thank you. Now we can start our discussion. We can continue our topics. Um, we are in Singalova the Sutta. When we are in Singalova the Sutta. There is another discourse that we can connect it to expand our topic. Vyagga Pajya Sutta. One day, 
there was a young household came to see the Buddha. And then that young person was asking from the Buddha, Venerable Sir, we are lay people. We have so many obligations as a lay person. So what is your suggestion for us to practice Dhamma? Then Buddha addressed that person. Then Buddha said, there are four things that you should develop for qualities. First one is Uttana Sampada. Develop your courage to reduce your heedlessness. Second one, Arakka Sampada, protect your values, wealth. Kalyanamitta, associate good friends. Samajivikata, live, uh, to have a balanced life. Balanced life meaning here, live maintaining qualities, content, uh, contentment, easy to support, having few duties, uh, and managing your life with your income, balancing your income with your expenses. This was the guidance that the Buddha gave to that young household. And then Buddha started to explain, if you are applying these qualities to your life, then as a result of your, these qualities, you can gain four kinds of happiness. First one is Atisukha. Yes, I have this. As you know, we are depending on basic requisites. We need food to eat, ahar, Pindapata, the party work. We need clothes to protect our body. Chivara. We need a shelter, Senasana. We need medicine, Gilana Pratya. These are the basic for requirement requisites that we should have. If you have these requisites, with the help of that thoughts, you can increase your happiness. Yes, I have these requisites for my life. So uh, when you have all these, then you can be happy. You can free from suffering in kind of. The Buddha advised to that young person, young fellow, householder, yes, if you have those qualities, Uttana Sampada, Rakka Sampada, Kalyanamitta, Samajivata, as a result of those qualities, then you can gain this happiness. I have, you are happy because uh, that you needed all these requisites are with you. You can be happy. Not just thinking. Uh, I have those things. Then consuming those things, you can be happy. Bhoga Sampada. Atti Sukha, Bhoga Sukha. Bhoga Sukha means the things that you have, consuming those things, you can be happy. Someone can think, oh, I have money. I can buy whatever that I need. But if you are stingy person, then you are not ready to buy things. You are ready to count just money without buying benefits for yourself. Buddha is not to appreciate that kind of 
the Buddha appreciate, oh, when the time come, if you have money, use that money benefits for yourself. When you are hungry, get something, buy something, eat. Whenever you notice your clothes are fed, take new clothes. This is the Buddha's advice. I have and also I'm consuming all these benefits. I have and I'm consuming. Hatti Sukha, Boga Sukha. If you have that thoughts, yes, I have, you can increase your happiness. And same time, if you are consuming things that you have, you can increase your happiness. Boga Sukha. Hatti Sukha, Boga Sukha. Third one, Anana Sukha. I don't have debt. I don't have debt. These basic things I have because I earn these things myself without taking from someone, not stealing, not cheating. Also, I did not borrow these things. I don't have any debt. It is also your happiness. And also the last one, Anavajya Sukha, I earn applying, having right livelihood. I have right livelihood. Maintaining precepts, I earn money. I did not cheat anyone. I did not apply any harmful methods to earn money. That is Anavajya Sukha. My path is very clear and clean. You can be happy thinking. Buddha gave us all these information about our happiness categories in Vyagapajya Sutta. With the address that young householder who came to see the Buddha and asked this question as a layperson, what we should do to practice Dhamma. Then they are, Buddha directly mentioned, you should earn money as a lay person. And you should have thoughts, yes, I have these things, and also you should, you're supposed to consume things that you have. And also you should have right livelihood life according to Noble Late Paul Pat. If you are living in this manner, then happiness is increasing as a result of that right method, right livelihood. So, in this Singhalavada Sutta, now we are talking, there are few ways which directly cause to decrease your wealth, as we discussed in here, drug, using drugs and alcohol, wandering on the street in inappropriate times and having party all the time, going here and there to see movies, dancing, sing, singing, to participate all these things, you waste in your time, you waste in your money. As a lay person, yes, you should enjoy with these things, but you should have limits for that. You should have limits. If you are not making boundaries, thinking of those limitations, then without knowing your time and money, your wealth will uh, take taking away from you, going away from you. Then you don't have the happiness. Yes, I have. You can't think. Yes, I have. You can't think. Yes, I'm consuming, you can't think. I don't have that. You can't think in this manner. That's why in Singhala Vada Sutta Buddha said, protect your wealth, protect your mind. To protect your mind and wealth, you're not supposed to engage with any of these things. If you are engaging, 
then you may not be able to protect your money, protect your mind. As we know, as a Buddhist follower, we have obligation, we have a goal for our life. That goal is to achieve Nibbana, achieve enlightenment. That is our goal. To achieve Nibbana, we should eliminate all our defilements from our mind. To eliminate defilement, you should be a skillful person. School, to be a, school, a skillful person, you should have clean and clear mind. Mindfulness is very important. And mindfulness we should develop into concentration. With the help of concentration, we can develop our wisdom. These are the basic things that we should develop to achieve our goal as a Buddhist follower, as a Buddhist follower. That's why basically in Singhalavada Sutta, Mahamangala Sutta, Parabhava Sutta, and also now we just mentioned Vyarkapadya Sutta, Buddha gave guidance to the lay community to establish their happiness, to establish their mind with wholesome thoughts. This is very important for our day-to-day -day life. When someone establishes this happiness, when someone establishes these qualities, then they are the people who can gain, who can achieve the final goal, attain enlightenment. Attaining enlightenment is not just something happening uh, just practice, uh, just saying sadhu sadhu without practicing. Engaging with so many rituals, there is no way to gain your happiness. You, there's no way to gain your nibbanic uh, achievements, goal. These are the facts that we should apply to our day-to-day -day life to Practice noble eightfold path. Giriman Singhalovada Sutta, Mahamangala Sutta, Parabhava Vasala, and Vyakapaja. All these suttas explaining how we can apply noble eightfold path to our day to day life as a lay person, particularly as a lay person. Applying this method to our day-to-day -day life, then we can enhance our concentration, inner peace. For what? To get ability to develop our skillfulness to think quickly, deeply, and widely. This is the most important thing. So, all these facts that Singhalavada Sutta explain very helpful us to practice Noble Eightfold Path. This is exactly Noble Eightfold Path. Now we are turning into uh, another uh, facts that we explain with other help, helping to decrease their wealth these there are the six dangers inherent compulsive gambling we already finished uh, drinking alcohol or using drugs and uh, hanging around on the street an inappropriate time and also without maintaining boundaries and limitation if you are going here and there to see movie, for movies for dancing and singers and having parties 
Now the next one is gambling. Winning breeds resentment. These are the Adi Navas. Adi Navas. If you are a gambler. The loser mourns lost property. Loser is a, he, he will become unhappy. Winner creates some uh, uh, winner can be happy, but social wise he creating some enemies. And when you are lo lo lost, uh, saving the lost, then your wealth that you already save will lose. One word carry a no weight in the public form. Publicly, if you are a gambler, people are not ready to accept you, believe you, they don't have any confidence of you. Friend and colleagues display their content and one is not sought after law for marriage. That kind of person not welcoming others who is a gambler. Gambler is not welcoming by the friends and also when the time comes when he wanted to marry someone, when he wanted to develop any friendship with others, it is not easy for that person. Since a, uh, since a gambler cannot uh, adequately support the family, also you, you, uh, if, you, uh, if you are a gambler, you may not be able to support your family members. Now you can see, because of all these things, happiness will disappear from you, also your family members. Happiness disappearing from you and your family members. So we are working on for our happiness. This is the main benefits that we are willing. So to achieve that happiness, to develop our inner peace, inner happiness, yes, we should have, we have to protect from these kind of things, these kind of weaknesses. We should work on these weaknesses to reduce those weaknesses, to develop our happiness, to develop our, to increase our courage and determination not to engage any of these harmful activities. That is our duty. That is our responsibility as a lay person to gain our happiness and gain our goal which is very important for our life. So, particularly in Sigalova, the Sutta Buddha addressed that young guy, young person, young fellow, and then addressing the, addressing the fellow Buddha emphasized uh, noble eightfold path indirectly. This Singala, young person, he was not able to understand any of Dhamma because his mind was not clear to how to develop his clear, peaceful mind. The Buddha, Buddha used the different directions to uh, push him to the do, push him to practice Dhamma. Singala was able to apply these methods, then he was able to attain. Uh, his achievements, his goals, applying these methods for his daily life. Now already we discussed the uh, four things which directly cause for uh, lose their wealth. Now we can continue these things. Uh, uh, that's enough for today. And uh, tomorrow we don't have classes done the discussions or meditation and then we can meet again on Tuesday and following day and then we can continue these discussions and also I would like to suggest you to read uh, 
Mangala Sutta, Parabhava Sutta, Vasala Sutta, Sindhalovadi Sutta, and Vyagapadi Sutta, then we can have a very good discussions. If you have any questions, you can write to us using askbante at bahavanasociety.org uh, website, uh, email address. Uh, okay, then uh, now we can wind down today's program. Thank you very much for your participation. Now it is time to share merits. Uh, first, we can think about our departed relatives, friends, family members, and pets. May they reduce these merits, reducing these merits, may they have peaceful, happy life, having that aspiration, say, sadhu, sadhu, to share merits with departed one. And also, uh, deities who protect this world, may they reduce these merits, reducing these merits, may they have a uh, peaceful, happy life, also may they be able to attain ultimate bliss of Nibbana, having that aspirations, share merits with deities, say, sadhu, who are suffering from corona and any other sicknesses by the power of these merits our good thoughts may they recover may they be well happy and peaceful having that aspiration we can make blessings upon them saying sadhu 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 may we all be well happy and peaceful Whatever the wishes you have, all your wishes come true by the power of this merit. So may we all able to attain ultimate bliss of Nibbana. Having that aspiration, we can say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. By means of this meritorious deed, may I never join with the police. May I join always with the wise until the time I attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief, so too may all beings be. From the highest realms of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you very much. Good night to west and have a wonderful day to east. See you Thank on Tuesday. Tuesday. Thank you, Bhante. Thank you, Bhante. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you. Thank you, Bhante. Thank you, Bhante. That's a very good ground by the beach. <laughs> wonderful. Thank you, Bhante. 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 Thank you, Bhante.